In this video, we're going to look at a final application of the derivative, uh, and that is to finding what we call roots of functions. Roots of functions are places where a function crosses the x-axis, and it's important to know those for many application problems. So in this case, we've identified one of the roots with the letter R, and uh, we're going to outline the method for finding this root which is called Newton's method. So we're going to uh, first graphically show how the method works and then we're going to uh, work through the algebra for deriving the Newton's method formula. In the Newton's method we use tangent lines to successively get closer and closer to the root uh, using a first guess which we have identified here as our x1. So what we do at the point x1, f of x1, this point right here, is draw the tangent to the curve and see where the tangent to the curve hits the x-axis. So I'm going to draw that now. So the tangent to the curve at the point x1, f of x1 is drawn, and we see that it hits the x-axis. Where it hits the x-axis, we're going to call that point x2, our second guess for the root and you can see it's moved closer to the root. We're going to continue this process by drawing the tangent to the graph at the point x2, f of x2. So you can see that we have done that and that uh, crosses the x-axis at a point that we're going to call x3. So continuing this process we would get successively closer and closer to the root r and this process works uh, in many cases, not all cases, it works when the curve actually has the same uh, type of curvature, actually called concavity, uh, to the right of the root if we pick the first decimal on the right and to the left if we pick it on the left. This particular curve has the right kind of curvature uh, or concavity, which is this on the right side of the root. If the curve were to do something like this, then we'd have to make sure that we picked our first guess in this region. If we picked it in this region, this method would not work. Okay, so let's see how we actually find these estimates, successive estimates, x2, x3, etc. So we're going to use this familiar formula for finding the equation of a line, the point-slope formula. And we're going to plug uh, the information in, which will identify the coordinates of the point x2. So uh, at the point x2, the y value is 0. We make this value right here x2, this x value x2. We designate y1 in its f notation, so it's f of x1. And finally, the slope is the slope of the tangent to the curve at the point x1, f of x1, which you know is f prime of x1, right? That's what you thought. Okay, so let's put that together in our point-slope formula. So I've extended the uh, arrows to show what everything in the point-slope formula has turned into. Now we want to solve this equation for x2, so the first thing that we're going to do is divide through by this factor, f prime of x1, because it simplifies the equation on the right to just be x2 minus x1. So let's do that. So you can see that this expression cancels out because it's just 1, and the right side turns into x2 minus x1. And, of course, we want to solve that for x2. So what we're going to do is add that x1 over to the other side, and this is what we get. So this is the Newton's method estimate for our second guess, x2. And looking back, what we just found algebraically is this second guess. So let's uh, extend this method. So it should be clear that if we continued this process that we did on the graph, algebraically what happens is the subscripts on the right all change to 2, and the subscript on the left changes from 2 to 3, and so that gives us this formula for x3. 
and if we continued this process to get a generalized formula that would be uh, this formula for x sub n plus 1. So we want to call this formula right here our Newton's method formula. So what we want to do is apply this formula to show that it will actually give us the root of a function by uh, showing how it works with this function f of x equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x plus 1 and we'll show where the root is on that and then show uh, how Newton's method will help us find that root. As we'll show graphically what the root is uh, and then zero in on it using Newton's method. So that is this uh, function right here, f of x equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x plus 1, whose root we're trying to find. So in the graph below we have uh, drawn uh, the function x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x plus 1, and we're trying to find this root r which we see is between uh, 4 and 6, a little bit left <coughs> of halfway, so we're going to make a first guess an x1 of 5. We see that the function has the right properties, that it is shaped uh, in the same way to the right of that, like this, so we're going to be able to use the Newton's method. So we've written in the formula for calculating x2, which requires that we know uh, x1 and uh, f of x1 and f prime of x1. We've also calculated f prime of x so that we can find f prime of x1. So we're going to substitute 5 into here and here and write out what we have on the next line. So we're actually we're not actually going to go through the calculations but it's pretty easy to see that f of x1 is 6 uh, obtained by just plugging 5 into f of x and that um, uh, f prime of x1 is 21. So putting that together we have that x2 is this. So this x2 4.714 is our first guess for uh, the root r. Now we're going to continue this process to get x3, x4, etc but we should notice that when we do this for x3 we're plugging uh, a number in that has more decimal places here than originally 5 and so the calculations in finding f of x and f prime of x get increasingly more difficult to do so what we do is we write a computer program to get successive approximations. When we do that Here's what we get for x6. So we've done this a, a sixth time to get our x6. So here is our, actually it's our fifth estimate, x2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right here. And this is actually accurate to the 15th decimal place, to this decimal place. So Newton's method is an excellent way to find roots of equation equations, that is, in this case, we're finding this value where the function crosses the x-axis, and let's uh, summarize with these notes. So, Newton's method, a very fast method, it only took five steps to get to the 15th decimal place, and at the same time, we're seeing how accurate it is. It's fast and accurate at the same time. You can also uh, uh, wrap up by noting that uh, you can see on the graph that 4.66 is a pretty good guess for this root right here. Now this is not the most accurate of graphs, but it should be convincing that we have actually, with this method, found the root. So there we have it for Newton's method. Uh, we'll uh, actually, in class, uh, develop a program for finding Newton's method for uh, any function we put in and we can uh, uh, get this kind of accuracy for any function we want, this kind of 15 decimal place accuracy.